morning. You're really going with that today? Yeah, what's, what's wrong with you? Oh, nothing. Have a good day, Audrey. Thanks. Great job on the exam, Audrey. Thank you, Dr. Prevett. <laughs> Classic Audrey, always killing the curve, right? Really. Rough day? Who are you? I'm your friend. I couldn't be seen. You're seeing things all right. You're finally starting to see things my way. And how is that exactly? Every day you wake up and fight. You fight for approval, for success, and it's just not worth it. Everybody thinks it is, but it's not. It's fake. Well, someone has to keep fighting, and it's not like my life is actually that bad. I like your roommate, though. She's got the right idea. And your classmates, they just seem... So real. Those are just two comments. Don't they, Audrey? Hello? Matt. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. How's your day been? Well, it's a lot better now that you're here. <laughs> How have you been? Good. I have to go finish class and then have work later, so. Well, I got to get to work too, but I'll call you later. Okay. Bye. Bye, have a good day. Adam. Hey. Hey. How have you been? I'm fine. Fine? Are you sure about that? You don't seem fine. Yeah, I just got a lot going on. Well, hey, that's what I'm here for. Let's talk about it. Well? There's Chelsea. She was with me lately. She made a comment this morning about my outfit. And then there's my stupid classmate. What about your stupid classmates? Well, they talk behind my back and they think I can't hear them, but I can. You know, they're just jealous. You've always been smarter than all of them. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> well, hey. Who's gonna get that? Matt, I gotta take this. Take that. I'll see you later. Hey, Audrey. What's up? You sent it off on the phone last night. What's wrong? I understand things have been kind of rough for you this past few months, and, and that's completely, it's completely understandable. It's been pretty hard for me, too. Yeah, but you know what happened. Yeah, I understand you need time, but grades have been dipping and so are you I, I don't know to if say? I can carry this load for you anymore. I'm sorry, but I, I need space, Audrey. I love you, but I need to reevaluate some things in my life. I'm sorry.
Here we go again. Give it a rest, Chelsea. Another rough day, huh, Audrey? <laughs> see you again. I'm gonna see you again. That was right, you've been really sad lately. Wouldn't you know that? Yeah, but I like remind you about how bad your life is. And that was even worse. And that was smart, he got out while he could. You don't know that. Well, you know what started all this, right? No. Yes. That's not what happened. Keep telling yourself that. What happened, sis? <laughs> Matt, he said he doesn't know if he wants to be with me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I really liked him. Well, that's okay. He'll come around. What if he doesn't? He will. But what about Chelsea? She's been mean lately, and then there's Matt, and then there's hey, hey, this hey, thing. Hey. It's okay. No, it's not. I'm just so done. You gotta get through this. You're strong. You're a lot stronger than me. You just gotta focus on what's going good instead of what's going bad. I guess you're right. I have some homework to do, and then I can relax. I can do this. I hope. That's my sis. I'll see you soon. Audrey, come on in. You said you wanted to see me? I know things have been kind of hard for you with your family's loss and everything, but your grades, they really are slipping. And I'd like to help you come up with a plan. Oh, it's okay. I, I got it figured out. Thank you. anymore. I take it another rough day, Audrey? Yeah. You're finally starting to see things my way. I can tell. <laughs> what happened? Everything. I found out today that my grades are dropping because I've been able to focus. And that means I could fail and then I'll have to take another year and I can't financially. And the worst part is, is it's my own fault. I'm sure it's gonna be okay. Just talk to your professor. I'm sure you guys can figure out a way that you can keep your grades up. No! Ever since you left us a few months ago, everything's gotten worse. My boyfriend won't talk to me, my roommates hate me, and then there's this, this thing, I can't take it anymore! See, Audrey, this is the exact mindset you should be in. First you give up on school, so why not just give up on this? Hey, 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 you know, if you 
stay out of this. She does not need to hear your full crap right now. She does need to hear it because the ball and Audrey just get over with. Don't listen to her, Audrey. You keep fighting. Think about Mom and Dad. They can't lose us both. You don't get it, do you? She's already gone. She doesn't want to face the world anymore. Doesn't that sound familiar? No, you don't get it. And you know what? She's stronger than me. Ever since we were kids, she always handled hardships better than I ever could. And I know it might seem really bad right now, but it's going to get better. And it might not feel like it will, but it will. Don't take the easy way out. Just like I did. Why should she listen to you? The moment life got bad for you, you did the exact same thing you're telling her not to do. Don't listen to me, Audrey. Chelsea and Jordan, they would be devastated. Jordan is your best friend, and Chelsea, she what cares about, about you. What about Chelsea? She doesn't care. She's been mean to you. Chelsea does not care about you. Chelsea will come around, and Matt, he'll come around too. And I know you two might be going through a really hard time right now, but you still love each other. Will he? Because he hasn't talked to her in days. He doesn't love you, Audrey. Nobody loves you. Yes, he does. And your roommates love you too. Your life means something. Does it? Because your grades are failing, your boyfriend doesn't talk to you, your roommates don't care about you, your life is terrible. You made me a promise. Two years ago, you promised me that no matter how hard it got, you would get through this. And I bet you made the same promise, but now look at you. I did promise. I had a moment of weakness, and for that I am truly sorry. But you cannot make the same mistakes that I did. He made the choice, so can you. Think about Mom and Dad. Did you think about Mom and Dad? No, but she has Why? to. Why? Because she's a fighter. Because she's weak. Fight it, Audrey. Give up, Audrey.